Hey, this is Barry and Holly of the WQSP Morning Show. Thank you for listening to our podcast, and we want to say a special thank you to our sponsors. Poodles and Pals Grooming offers personalized attention for the pet you love. Almost any size or breed, they give low-stress atmosphere and custom grooming to fit your dog's needs. With the most affordable rates around, your pet will leave looking and feeling better than ever. Flea and Tick Shampoo, coloring, you name it. A safe and clean space that is more than just another treat for your dog. To book appointments, please call 256-298-2021 or check out Facebook at Poodles and Pals LLC. Open in Gunnersville Monday through Thursday, Poodles and Pals, your go-to dog groomer. All real and all deals, Sandman Brakes. For all your sports cards and trading, you must check out Sandman Brakes. Exclusive team openings, professional teams covering football, baseball, basketball. Exclusive content. In the sports car world, we are top-notch and top-rated. Check us out on our TikTok username, Sandman Brakes. At least pretend to be doing some work. Good jobs are hard to find. I know. That's why I took this one. It's time to rise and shine and get your morning started with Alabama's award-winning morning show. When I wake up in the morning, love. Broadcasting live from high atop Alabama's beautiful sand mountain. And I know it's gone. I'm sorry. I'm expecting a call. A love. Your hosts, Barry. I've never stood so close to pure evil before. What do you say we go out to the parking lot, run a few pass plays to burn off the calories? And Hong. Oh, my leg is cramping up. God, rub it. Rub it. Rub it. It's cramping. <laughs> my milkshake but I have My milkshake brings all the boys in life. Good morning at 607. It is a lovely day. It is. Yeah, had some storms last night. Mm, I know. I heard. I heard right. Strong I, storms I, came I, through. Yeah, I tuned in to WQSP. Yeah, didn't was, expect that. Was not expected. No. I had a tornado warning. Hopefully, no damage. Everything worked out okay. But do keep in mind, tomorrow morning, um, roughly about this time and earlier, there's a chance of stronger storms coming through. We do have a risk uh, from about 1 a.m. in the morning till about 7, 8 a.m. of a line coming through. Uh, their hope is heavy rainfall, which is uh, going to be a problem driving into work, so just keep that in mind tomorrow. But there's also a risk of damaging winds, 60 mile an hour winds, plus a chance of a spin-up tornado. Oh, God. So there is a chance tomorrow morning. I'm yeah. telling you there's a chance and lightning and a chance of small hail. Mm. So that's tomorrow morning. Today, though, it's going to be warm. Uh, the heat index today. They're actually saying it's going to be so humid. There's going to be. It's going to feel like mid nineties today. No way. You're lucky. Your picnic you had yesterday is not happening today. Yeah. It's going to be warm for a picnic. Oh. That was a picnic. It was good. It w- we went down to the park by the lake, so we didn't have as much humidity. We had a little sure. bit of cool breeze off the lake. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. So it was neat, and she loved the lake, the view, the. Nature. Oh, it's gorgeous at Lake Gunnersville. It's beautiful, Hill. yeah. We're so lucky, really, to have something like that in this mm-hmm. area. And she's got a two-year-old, and it just blew his mind. He kept saying, "Water, uh, water." Oh, uh, I know it was neat, but uh, they 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 had a good time. Well, that's good. And then there's this. Mm-hmm. Got some sad news to report. Oh no! So, listeners, keep keep this in mind. Holly has an injury. Oh no! Are you okay? <gasps> you know what? What? Who burns themselves in the armpit with a curling iron? I don't. It's me. I can tell you that. I don't. So what happened? Okay. So so it was 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And I was curling my hair. <laughs> and it's a straight, long barrel. And yeah. I flipped it around to get the other side. Oh, no. And the barrel went onto my skin and oh, sizzled oh i know and oh. I, it smelled like bacon no, uh, yeah no. yeah and then i am left with this huge whelp and it's wow. like it's on the inside of my arm so I, it, it I touches everything oh it everything rubs it and hurts it how did you get the curling iron over that to that part of the arm to the armpit the young the armpit area how i don't know <laughs> You know, I don't know. You just, I just did, yeah. Okay. I don't know. You need it to just, video some of this. It just like like I flipped it down and oh. then it and then it touched me. Oh girl. I know. And it really hurt. I've burned my hands yeah. before. I've burned them on on the uh straightening. Iron. I can see the hand because you yeah. get your hands in your maybe your face, but the yeah. the armpit. I I know. It I did it. It was me. Hate to ask the listeners what's the 
goofiest injury you've ever had. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. What's the weirdest injury you've ever had? I'm going to do that. The weirdest injury. I've got injury. one I can tell later was weird. I'm going to hear. I'll tell you. No, and this little tease here. I've got a one. Okay. But we'll tell. We'll do those. But a lot of stuff on Facebook we'll talk about this morning. Yeah. That you posted. Uh, we mentioned uh, Lake Gunnersville. What do you think is in there? <laughs> in the yeah. Lake, hey, that was a lot of good posts. Ooh. Are you looking at my burn? I see that. That does look like it's painful. Thank you. I just wanted to mention it one more time. I I, I do have a burn. You're just showing it to the world. I am. I need everybody to know. Yeah. And feel sorry for me. Keep your armpit in your thoughts this (laughs) morning. (laughs) It does look painful. But hey, we have a busy day. We had a Secret Sound winner yesterday. We did. I know. Yes. Okay. Let's play the sound again. If you're not sure what it was, now you did put the recording of the sound on our Facebook page. Yes. To let you see us record it. Yeah. And here is the sound again. Mm -hmm. That was the sound. That was it. Do it one more time. Okay. This is what the sound was. Mm -hmm. Now tell them what that is. That is dental floss being pulled from the container. Because like the dental floss, little you can get it from the dentist art store, and you pull a little piece out, and it sounds. Yep, that's it. It's dental floss, and there's a video. If you think ah, that's not it, but I promise you it is. There's a video on our Facebook page that shows it. And congratulations to our winner, Brad Mason of Sneed, called in with Rod and wins five hundred dollars. Oh my gosh, or, I want to win five hundred dollars. Well, we're, it's not five hundred, but we'll play again at seven ten. It's a hundred, but that's where we start. Brand new sound. Now, how on the scale of one to ten, ten being the hardest, how hard is this one going to be? Um, this one's going to be about a seven or an eight. Oh, it's it's deceiving. I'll just say that. Is it as hard as the last sound? Would you say? The last one is pretty tough. Oof. <sighs> yes. Okay. The last one was tough. Do you have it? Uh, not in here yet. No, okay. we're not playing yet. We'll play it at 710. I know, but do we have it? Yeah. We do oh, yeah. have it. It, it oh, got yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. yeah, we have some weird. I had trouble with, with my email. Yeah. Uh, the computers were weird. I think the power blinked last night and it reset all the computers. Yeah. But anyway, uh, Secret Sound's coming up at 710. We have more movie tickets. Uh, big movie tomorrow night, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. You have a chance to see it free first with us if you win tickets. And June Jam tickets. We're giving away June Jam tickets today. We have June Jam. For Mother's Day, it's a Mama Nim's contest for Mama Nim. That's your Mama Nim. We're giving away two tickets coming up later this morning. We'll tell you how to win the June Jam tickets. And there's another way they can win on air with our podcast. Yes, I'm going to release that. Easter egg, and I, I don't know when we should do it around the seven. Whatever you say, you're in I'm charge. just going to go ahead and do it now. We'll go ahead and do it now. All right. So what we'll do is the Facebook post that I make for the podcast is you're going to tell me your location, where you're from, and that's going to be the Easter egg for. Okay. And what I'm going to do is take all those names. We're drawing out June Jam tickets. Mm-hmm. We're doing this today and tomorrow. Right? Uh, yeah. And Anybody who po- commented yesterday, you're in the running to win tickets. Yes, everybody and, that commented yeah. pink. And if you comment today and tomorrow, you'll have uh, three days to get in there listen to the podcast for a chance to win. And Friday morning, we'll announce we'll have a random drawing and we'll give you two June Jam tickets. That's right. Yeah, so that's how you do that. Yep. And the podcast is on our website. It's on our Facebook page. You can listen to the old podcast. You can listen to today's show coming up uh, about 10 o'clock. So a lot of stuff going on. How did you know? Other things going on, things you need to know today, Wednesday, May the 8th. What's happening today? On this date in 1540. Spanish explorer Hernando de Soto reached the Mississippi River. Okay. He said the toughest thing about the whole thing was spelling it. <laughs> Have you ever spelled Mississippi? Yes. It's yes. M I crooked letter, crooked letter I, crooked letter, crooked letter I, hump back, hump back I. <laughs> we learned that in school. <laughs> yeah. Because that was probably one of that was the hardest state to learn to spell. That in Tennessee were hard when you were little. Always had trouble with the Arkansas and Kansas. Arkansas, yeah, that's true. They have they have those silent S's. What yeah. are they doing with those? I don't know. Why are they even in there? I don't know. Uh, spell Mississippi again. M I crooked letter crooked letter I crooked letter crooked letter I humpback humpback I <laughs> Mississippi. That's perfect. Thank you. That's how you do it. Yep. Okay. And here's something you need to know: Fresh Del Monte is offering a pink ruby glow pineapple that is selling up to four hundred dollars. Pink pineapple. A pink pineapple. Is this something new? Uh, well, let me tell you about it. The fruit is pink and it has a yellow interior, but it took over 15 years to develop and 
Costa Rica. Wow. And it, the Ruby Glow Pineapple first launched in January, and there's a wait list because it takes two years for one pineapple to grow. Two years? Yeah. Two years, for, and that's why it's almost four hundred dollars. Fifteen years to develop this. Yes, they had nothing else to do. I wonder. Yeah, I know. They had no life. Got to go work on my pineapple, pineapple today. again today. So go look at it and watch it. <laughs> so, how much are these things? Three hundred ninety-five dollars for one pineapple. For one pineapple. No, I would. I wouldn't pay that. No. But if if it was at a party, I would try it. Sure, if somebody offers me a piece of the four hundred dollar pineapple. Yeah. I would never know. I know. $400. And it takes two years to grow one of them. Yeah. And there's a wait list. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You'd be waiting for a while to get your pineapple. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Poor SpongeBob, he needs to get one of these and live in it. <laughs> he can't afford it. He only <laughs> works at the Krusty Krab. <laughs> you don't make much. He only flips burgers. He gets fired once, a, once every <laughs> yeah, season. Yeah, he does. Yeah. And here's something to think about. Okay. Sometimes I tell people, I hope the rest of the day is as pleasant as you are. And then I watch their faces to try to determine if it was a compliment or not. Whoa, I just thought about that. I, I hope the rest of your day is as pleasant as you are. Yeah, it depends on your pleasant oh, level. I'm not, you wouldn't be sure how to take that. Uh, uh-uh. Use that one and get some confused looks. Yeah. See what they say. Good one. It's 616. WQSB. Mornings with Barry and Holly. A lot of rumors, a lot of rumors that you put up a post about Lake Gunnersville. It, it's a lot of weird rumors. Because yeah. you were talking, you said you'd always heard that mm-hmm. there's fish in Lake Gunnersville as big as a Volkswagen. That's what I've heard. Okay. Makes you wonder, is did this, did this rumor stretch over time? Yeah. Did it begin as a, as big as a... Bicycle. Bicycle. Yeah. Then it went to a big as, a, I don't know, a trampoline. Then uh-huh. I, I don't know. But <laughs> So you asked, you put up on Facebook and said, what rumors have you heard yeah. about what may be in Lake Gunnersville. Yes. And there's all kinds of stuff. Some of the new ones. Uh, Rachel, Rachel Tolley says, more than one Yogi Bear statue in the bottom of the lake. One was under the river bridge. They were from the old daycare preschool. Ooh, weird. So that's what Rachel says. I've always wondered what, before we read these, yeah. I've always wondered what it would look like to drain the lake and, yeah. and look at the bottom of it. Wouldn't that be weird? That would be weird. Okay, so go ahead. Because, you know, there came the time when they decided it was time to drain it, and they say there's still some homes that weren't removed that's still in the bottom. That's they drained the it? Well, they didn't drain it, but whenever they got time to fill it, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. But it came time to let the water in. Yeah. Uh, some of the stuff that was there stayed there. That's the rumor, I guess. I don't know. Well, Amanda says when the dam was being built, a worker fell in when they were pouring concrete, and they left the man in the concrete. Oh. Ooh. 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 That's creepy. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Alicia Edelman says, always heard there's an old road in the water in front of the top of the river, and if the water is low, you can stand on it in the middle of that part of the lake. Oh. She, too, says she's always heard about the catfish as big as, oh, a school bus. Oh, my gosh. She says school bus. School bus. So, see, it's grown. Yeah, from, from a Volkswagen to, to a school, school bus. bus. Here's yeah. the rumor. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what else you see? Um, years ago, lake property was very cheap because no one wanted to live on the lake. Yeah. That's from Rita Duncan Martin. I can't believe it would be cheap. Hmm, no. Bo Smalley says, if my dad was alive, he'd swear up and down that at the bottom of the dam, there was a catfish so big, a full-grown man could walk into its mouth. Ooh. Yeah, that's what Bo said. Uh, Drew says, alligators. Yeah. Which we saw a picture once. What we did. We don't saw know. a picture. Don't know what we saw. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Sh- Shania says, the dam has bodies thrown in it. Oh, 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 I know. Really? Yes. Jimmy says I've heard of piranha and alligators in it. Oh, piranha. Oh, it's a rumor he's heard. Yeah. Uh, what other ones you got? Um, uh, that was another dead body one. I had yeah. to skip that. There's one. a lot of those. There's several underwater cemeteries and several nev- residents that have never been exhumed when the water was ri- raised. So there's hmm. it's, there's like graveyards down there. Kenneth says my dad lived at Beach Creek when he was a kid before the water was backed up in that area. I saw catfish that weighed more than a hundred pounds. Ooh. Chris Jones says when the lake was filled, some people refused to move remove themselves from their homes and they died. Oh. They just said we're not moving. I guess probably in protest yeah. and then. 
Connie says to ask you about all the pictures Southtown Realtors has on display in oh, the office. Oh, they do. It's, it's so neat. They have, oh my gosh, I don't even know how many they have, but they have a ton in the office there. And so does Top of the River. Top of the River has a lot of right, right. Uh, uh, pictures of the lake. Jennifer even put up a picture of some of the men that helped build the Gunnersville Lake. Yeah. Well, this is it goes way, way back. Um, catfish, they say catfish raw. Lawrence says raw sewage is dumped into it. Haven't heard that one. Savannah says bull sharks. This is neat. Um, Faith Fletcher says you can search the TVA relocation rolls to see what families TVA relocated and see how much they were paid for their land before the they flooded. Cool. That's neat. Yeah. Gerald, like, so the, the, they would pay them for their land. Gerald put up a picture of a Loch Ness Monster and said Nessie decided to vacation in Lake Gunnersville. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's another rumor. Uh, but there's quite a few saying that they've heard there's piranha in there. I've, I've yeah. never heard that one. Yeah. So if you want to add one to this, you can do it. Go to our Facebook page. and uh, A lot of fun. Somebody said there's a pair of Oakley sunglasses somewhere in there. Oh, <laughs> I know. That's right. Uh, there's, there's more than yeah, one. There's more than that. Oh, so, mm-hmm. and Mary says leeches are in the water. Ew. Mary Slayton. Do you think it? people eat the fish that come out of the lake? <laughs> I don't know. Because you see people fishing all the time. Oh, yeah. But do you I'm think sorry. people... Fish, what are you laughing at? I was at? reading Sharon What's said they're, they're fixing to open up another Dollar General down there. <laughs> <laughs> They're about to put a Dollar General in the bottom of the lake. That is so good. They've got them everywhere else. She deserves a T-shirt yeah, for that, that comment. That That's good. good. All right, 629. Mornings with Barry and Holly here on Alabama's country giant, WQSB. QSB Sam Hunt in outskirts, 637. Barry and Holly and the type of the listener of the day. Now, who are we uh, saluting today? Okay, so our listener of the day today is my uh, Jacqueline computer. Williams. Jacqueline Williams, thank you. My computer's not loading. Okay, so, I got it now. So Jacqueline, she commented yesterday yes. on uh, something about the podcast. Uh, so Jacqueline is uh, a listener of the day, and yes. she's now qualified to be the listener of the week. And by being listener of the day, she also has a chance to win uh, June Jam tickets. Yeah, she does. So we're giving those away also on Friday. Yes. Now, to be the listener of the day, it's very simple. Oh, yeah. All you have to do is listen to our podcast. We have it on our website or it's on Spotify. Mm-hmm. Um, you can also find it on our Facebook page. But Jacqueline just commented on the upload. So later on during the day, about 10 o'clock, I'm going to make a post. It also has an Easter egg in it. If you want extra points mm-hmm. for June Jam, yeah. just tell me where you're listening from. Right. And that's the Easter egg. So that'll be on our podcast coming up later this morning. Uh-huh. Go in and listen to it. And then also you can comment. Where you listen? Where you listening from? Yes. Where are you listening from? Got gotcha. you. So the podcast will be up at roughly about ten o'clock for today's show. Now there's podcasts from other shows all the way back from a month ago. Yeah, including from yesterday. Yeah, and this you can good find stuff. these on our yeah. website. You can find them on our, our link on our Facebook page, or go to Spotify. Yeah, these are fun to listen to. I listen to them when I'm doing laundry, or doing the dishes, yep. or cooking supper. I love podcasts. Yeah, it's simply our morning show without commercials and without music. That's right. It's just the talk and talking about things like this. Crazy, 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 crazy. crazy. Like this. The Boy Scouts were changing their name. Hmm. Have you heard that? No. Uh, after 114 years, the Boy Scouts of America have announced they're changing their name to Scouting America. Oh, no. Scouting America. Is this Is this because... Many reasons. Oh, no. Don't want to get into all of them. Okay. But I don't reasons. think we're allowed to. <laughs> no. There's many reasons why. Uh, the change will take effect, effect starting next year. So starting next year, uh, that's when it will start. Mm-hmm. What's it being called? Scouting America. Okay. It's just the ring that's always had a ring to it. Hey, join the, the Boy Scouts of America. Yep. But now, hey, join Scouting America. It's just don't have the same ring. So are they going to let girls in? They already have. Oh. That's part of it. That's one of the reasons why they're changing the name. Are they? Stay with us. We'll be right back. Ever wonder how your favorite entertainers and athletes made it from childhood to the spotlight? Join me, Nashville-based entertainment reporter Jennifer Vickery-Smith, as I chat with moms of entertainers and entertaining moms on my hit podcast, Got It From My Mama. 
You'll hear delightful conversations with moms of everyone from the Jonas Brothers, Luke and Brian, Kelsey Ballerini, Steph Curry, Travis Kelsey, and so many more, sharing the journey from a perspective only a mama can share. New episodes weekly as we share the best conversations of family, faith, and fame on the Got It From My Mama podcast. That are they? You're carefully asking I'm your carefully, question. Yes, I'm very. T- I'm okay. tiptoeing around. I'm okay. tiptoeing around. Are they born girls? Oh yeah, that's you can't tell. Yeah, you that's can't tell. No, no. <laughs> he said, "No further questions." Uh huh. That's why I think they're doing this. Let me ask him. He said, "We can't answer." No, you gotta do the blah 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 blah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Yeah, so did you get all that? I got it. Okay, so that's why they're saying you. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. You think that you want to ask him? Uh, who are you going to ask? Their lawyer. He's right here next oh, to him. You're not here when you're talking to him? <laughs> <laughs> that was my lawyer. He don't believe you. She don't believe you're in here. Well, <laughs> that was up to him. Quit whispering to your that's lawyer. That's lawyer. They don't want you to listen. He can't so tell you. So they're changing their names after yes. 114 years. To Scouting America. Oh. Okay, yeah. we are getting too sensitive. It is. Okay, that's all I'll say, though, and I support everyone and love everyone, and that's it. I mean, it's gotten so crazy over the years that we changed names of so many things over the years mm-hmm. because people are so upset about the littlest things. Speaking of little, what's next? Are we going to change Little League Baseball? Are we going to, because you can't say little? Mm. Because mm-hmm. it's, you have problems with size? Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Size matters. I mean, Little League, you, I've just been known for Little League it for does. years. It does. It does. Don't they know that? I don't know. Somebody needs to tell them. That'll be next. That'll be the campaign. That'll, I don't know. I'm just, it upsets me that we change things because people get upset about something that's been called for years. And it's like well, now we have baseball teams who are no longer the Cleveland Indians. They're the Guardians. And we yeah. have the Washington Redskins who changed their name. Uh, Do you remember know. when Aggies were going to go to Longhorns? Yeah. I, that was when I was in school. That was another we were, thing. This was going to be our, we yeah. had like a hand signal. Hook them. Hook em horns, yeah. yeah. And so we were going to be the long, Aggie Longhorns, or yeah, the Aggie Longhorns. Boy, that fell Weird. Apart. Weird. Yeah. Because it was the devil, and so people were like, they were can't, complaining. Yeah, they were complaining. So I guess it's fine now, because I, I, see, I see the I logo know. out there. There's too much, too much complaining out there. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? It is. All right. Hey, one thing I do know is we have a new secret sound, and it's coming up at 710. So get ready. It's a brand new sound. If you missed it, we had a winner, uh, Brad Mason. The last one was pulling dental floss out of the container. And you can see us record the sound to go to our Facebook page, and mm-hmm. you can listen to it again. That's he right. wins $500. So another one's coming up at 710. Barry and Holly on Alabama's Country Giant. WQSB. That's one of the fastest moving songs out there. I love that song. Uh, it's uh, got like a huge following on TikTok. A lot line dancers, they put together a dance just for that. Here's a little piece of information for you. Okay. Uh, we played a few minutes ago, speaking of songs, uh, Jordan Davis, mm-hmm. uh, Tucson Too Late. Did you know when they were first writing it, it was going to be called Tulane Too Late? Oh, that just doesn't sound as good. Nope. Uh, he was talking about it in an interview about the song, and he said, actually, he and the songwriters were going to go with Tulane. But then he said it sounded confusing because, are you talking about a Tulane road uh-huh. or Tulane uh, city. or university? What are we talking about? Yeah. So they said, let's find another town. They typed in uh, popular towns with T. Tucson came up first. They said, how does this sound? And they sung it a little bit of it and said, sounds better. Yeah. Let's go with Tucson too late. Ooh, that's neat. So it could have been Tulane too late. Mm. I'm with you. It's not the same. I don't think it would sound the same. No, it wouldn't. So there you have it. So that's how that came to be. So it's Tulane. It would have been Tulane too late. But it's Tucson. But it's Tucson. All because of that. All right, things you need to know this morning as far as a pile of stories or whatever. What's going on in the world today? Wednesday, season two is in production in Ireland with Netflix confirming Jenny Ortega, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Luis Guzman will return. Jenna Ortega was the perfect Wednesday. She really was. In season one. She really, really was. She should have won awards, but she didn't. I don't know why. She was excellent. I like 
Catherine Zeta Jones in she it. She was good. And I wasn't as a big a big fan of uh, what, Gomez. Yeah, Gomez. No. Yeah. But I like the other two. Did you like Blade Runner? I like the original with the yeah, the other original movie with Mel Gibson. A new Blade Runner TV show is coming. I'm but, sorry, was it Harrison Ford or Mel Gibson? Oh. I'm, I think it's Harrison Ford. I don't know. I've never seen it. I'll look it up. The upcoming series Blade Runner 2099 will appear on Prime. The show will serve as a sequel to the original film and its follow-up, Blade Runner 2049. It was Harrison Ford. It was? Blade Runner. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I like the original. Mm-hmm. And then CBS has announced a new unscripted true crime docuseries called The Real CSI Miami. Ooh. As part of the longtime CSI franchise, the latest series will feature real-life crime cases and forensic science used to solve them. I thought you would like this. Yes. That's going to be so it's good. It's probably going to show you that they can't solve a crime in 45 minutes like the TV show. <laughs> it takes a whole lot longer. <laughs> yeah. I'll watch that. That does sound good. All right, 651. Birthdays are next. WQSB. Mornings with Barry and Holly. Poodles and Pals Grooming offers personalized attention for the pet you love. Almost any size or breed, they give low-stress atmosphere and custom grooming to fit your dog's needs. With the most affordable rates around, your pet will leave looking and feeling better than ever. Flea and tick shampoo, coloring, you name it. A safe and clean space that is more than just another treat for your dog. To book appointments, please call 256-298-2021 or check out Facebook at Poodles and Pals LLC. Open in Gunnersville Monday through Thursday. Poodles and Pals, your go-to dog groomer. All real and all deals. Sandman Brakes. For all your sports cards and trading, you must check out Sandman Brakes. Exclusive team openings. Professional teams covering football, baseball, basketball. Exclusive content. In the sports car world, we are top-notch and top-rated. Check us out on our TikTok username, Sandman Brakes. QSB Laney Wilson, Wildflowers and Wild Horses. It's a number one song in the country. Her seventh number one song since she's been, well, she's been trying for years in Nashville. She finally got somebody to listen to her music, got a record deal, and she's had like number one songs ever since. Yeah, she's everywhere right now. Just needed a chance. Yeah. Hey, there's another song we're going to play coming up later this morning. It's uh, uh, our buddy Jeff Walker sent this to me. Yes. And it's uh, called uh, Praying Woman from Ann Wilson and Laney Wilson. Yes. Uh, no relation that I know of. Yeah. I don't think they are, but Ann Wilson, uh, she's a contemporary Christian artist who's now trying country music mm -hmm. and it's a great song. I think it's perfect for Mother's Day. It really is. It's a good one. Yeah, we'll play that coming up later this hour. So, great song that's coming up. A lot of stuff to talk about. We got Secret Sound coming up in just a second. I know the uh, phones are ringing off the hook, but not yet. Not yet. Got to congratulate some folks. First of all, uh, Paitlin Hughes of Sand Rock is our latest WQSB Big Catch Fishing Contest winner. Way to go, Paitlin. You can see her picture on her Facebook page. And uh, we had a random drawing. Her picture came out. And she wins a $50 gift certificate from Tyler Farms in Collinsville. Congratulations to you, Paitlin. We'll be getting you that cert certificate. And you'll have a chance winning next week by uploading your fishing photo on her website at WQSB.com. And the lister of the day, congratulations. Congratulations again to Jacqueline Williams, our listener of the day. Way to go, Jacqueline. Thank Yay, you so much Jacqueline. for listening. We uh, selected her name randomly. She commented on our, our podcast, podcast yesterday, mm -hmm. which this week there's even more, Jacqueline. You are qualified to win the Barry and Holly Morning Show t-shirt and a pair of June Jam tickets. June Jam. Yeah, how can they do this? So all you have to do is wait for me to post about 10 o'clock. I'll put up a post and say... Tell me your favorite part of the show, mm -hmm. and then, like we normally do, you can do that. But if you right. want bonus points, there's an Easter egg, mm -hmm. only if you listen to the podcast or you're listening now. And the Easter egg is comment on that post where you are from, and you're going to get a double entry. Ah, so the podcast will be up uh, on our website or Facebook page coming up about 10 o'clock or so when you finish putting it together. Yeah. It's simply a podcast of our morning show this morning. Yeah. 
And you can listen to other podcasts, too, if you'd like to. So check them out, and thank you to our podcast sponsors. We have some great sponsors. And if you'd like to be a sponsor, you can always contact us. Yeah, so thank you to Poodles and Pals LLC and Sandman Breaks. All right, quote of the day. They got us a good quote of the day today. I do. This one is another one from Kermit. I didn't realize Kermit had so much wisdom. They had some great writing on the Muppets. They, they really, really they did. did, yeah. It was funny, and they had some serious uh-huh. comments, too. He says, just because you haven't found your talent yet doesn't mean you don't have one. You have many talents. I'll brag on you for a second. You've done many things. Now you found something that you really like more than the other things you've done, and it's this. Yeah, it's this. It's but radio. you've done a ton of stuff in your career. I've done, like, all kinds of things. You've done them all well. <laughs> but I never found what I loved and, like, what really sparked my yeah. joy until I started doing radio. So you never know. No, you don't. Your hidden talent may still be unfound yet. Yeah, it's probably singing. But yours? Yeah. Oh, Okay. It probably is. Could be. You you may win idol one day. I might. I mean, you may be too old. I think I've aged out. You could be on The Voice, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, they like the older ones. Yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. Secret Uh-oh. sound time. What? Secret sound time. If you missed it, we had a winner yesterday. Congratulations to Brad Mason of Sneed. Uh, he won. The sound five was pulling dental floss out of the container. He guessed it wins $500. So now we're on a brand new sound, sound number six. Thank you to our sponsors, Douglas Food Value, Tyler Farms, U.S. Hydraulics, and Albertville Farmers Co-op. $100 if you know what this sound is. I'll turn the music down. That's a tough one. That, oh. So it's something people have heard many, 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 many times. But it sounds just a lift of rhythm. Well, we won't give no clues. No clues. No clues. So caller 10 plays the game right now. 878-8000-1800-233-1051. Mornings with Barry and Hall here on Alabama's country giant WQSB. At that. That's going to be exciting. Yes, it will. Well, here we go, Landon. Just for you, here is secret sound number six. Okay, one more time. Did you hear that okay? Yes. What is your guess going to be? A door slamming. A door slamming. A door slamming. Like what kind of door? Like a, a door in the house? Uh, yeah. A door in the house. Okay. A door slamming. Is that the secret sound? That is a very good guess, but not the right guess, Landon, but a good job. Hey, I hope you have a great day at school. We'll try again coming up soon, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much for listening, for playing. Hope you have a good day at school. Thanks, Landon. So no winner. The guess was uh, closing a door in the house. He, ch- he changed his he answer. Did. Last that minute. is fine. That is yeah. fine. But we're going to put the uh, incorrect guess on our website. Yeah. We'll play again coming up at 1015. Mike will play at 1015 at 115. The ride at 315 with your chance to win $125 next time we play. My belly! Come on! A lot of food stories. A lot of wraps. Is, is wrap the big food out this year? I think that's a popular thing right it's now. Not about everybody has a wrap. I'm not complaining. No, I, I like wraps. Mm-hmm. KFC has a new one. Another one. They have a new Twister wrap. Looks like it may be going nationwide soon. It's been in test markets. It's going to be going nationwide. This one features uh, two KFC tenders with the original recipe seasoning uh, wrapped with lettuce, tomato, and pepper mayo sauce. Oh. So a little bit of a kick to it. That sounds this good. This looks very good, so it should be in this area sometime very soon. Yum. So how about the new possibly desserts, candies for Halloween? Yeah, these are neat. So these are all chocolate fudge with the actual pieces of candy. There's a Twix chocolate fudge, hmm. a Snickers, and a Dove chocolate fudge. These are like bite-sized pieces. Yeah, these the are just little size. bite-sized. Yeah. yeah, I would try the Snickers. It says that they're headed to the stores for the holidays, so they'll I'm be ready. Guessing Halloween. Yes, yep. they'll be ready for Halloween. It'll be good. And then I'm so excited about this. Yep. Starbucks is launching a summer berry 
refreshers and more for summer 2024. The star of the show is the Summerberry Starbucks Refresher. It blends the flavors of raspberry, blueberry, blackberry, shaken with ice, and poured over popping raspberry pearls, which means it's almost like a boba tea. So that's the one that you want. That's the one that I'm going to get today if they're not sold out. Gotcha. And then the Summerberry Lemonade Starbucks Refresher is a summer berry with lemonade over the same burst of raspberry pearls so it has raspberry pearls too gotcha, boba tea. Gotcha. and then those seeking a dairy free option the summer skies drink beckons oh beckons with its creamy coconut milk base Ooh, mingling with yes. vibrant raspberry burst of pearls and then they have a uh, dreamsicle cake pop and then wow. some it looks like some kind of muffin or something it stone. does but the dreamsicle Flavored cake pop. Yeah, Dreamsicle cake pop. Got to try that. Yeah. These look good. Yes, and Heather at uh, Starbucks at Food City yeah. told us that this was coming, and I said, I've got to have this. We'll be trying them. Yes. Hey, we'll have to bring one in here for the 10 out of 10. We sure will. Oh, we'll my do. gosh, yes. That'll be good. All right, 726. Mary and Holly on Alabama's Country Giant, WQSB. Come on, man. Mornings, come on, man story. You know, we talked about the Boy Scouts changing their name. Now you got the Swiss Army Knife. They're not changing their name, but they're taking away the knife. Wow. Well, wow. Safety? With it's Safety. Okay. Without the knife. The Swiss Army Knife without the knife. Do you think they need to legally change the name to the Swiss Army... Apparatus. Well, apparatus. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen. The company that makes them made an announcement that the new version of the Swiss Army knife being designed now has no blade, no knife. They're going to soup it up, though, with all kinds of unusual different tools inside. There's one that a cyclist can use. I'm not sure what that would be. No. I have no know. idea. Uh, they say that the response, this comes amid a judge recently called a plague of knife crime around the world. And they said they took note of this and said, you know, there's been a lot of stabbings. There's been a lot of everything around the world. Well, let's do our part. So they're taking away the knife. They're going to have other things inside the Swiss Army knife to take its place. Nope. We've gotten too soft. Yeah. I We've had the Swiss Army knife for I don't know how many years. How long have we had this? I don't know. My dad carries a pocket knife. Yeah. And we use that thing all the time. I'm like, Dad, can I have your knife to open up boxes? Yeah, they're so cool. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't understand taking away the knife part. I understand um, protecting against violence. Sure. That's great. Sure. But you can get a knife from anywhere. It doesn't yes, have to can. be a handheld Swiss Army knife. Yeah. If you're if you're gonna knife somebody down, you can find one in the kitchen. It says 1908. The Swiss government split the contract, so it's been around over a hundred years. The Swiss wow. Army knife, basically, and I think they're cool because you got all kinds of little things in there. Yeah, they you do. Can, you yeah. can find other things to hurt somebody with if you want. There's like a little corkscrew. Yeah, the little screw, yeah. There's a corkscrew. Yeah. You can do that. You can use that. Uh, you can use all these little, those little tiny scissors. There's, I mean, you go over there and just... <laughs> you, can, you, can make, you can hurt somebody with pretty much any object you want. How'd you do? This is... That was a knife. <laughs> but it's with anything if you want to. Yeah, you it's, can. It's the person with the item that's the problem. Lord, yes. And this is open. I'm not going to get on a soapbox or no. open up a can of worms. No. But like I said, it's great that you want safety, but yeah. there are other ways to use this that could hurt you. I mean, come on, man. You're taking away the knife from the Swiss Army knife. Are there other things that That's have sad. names like this? I don't have to think of stuff, but uh, you'll have to change the names of other items, too. Zelda Johnson said they should call it the Swiss Army Multi Tool since it has no knife. That's, that's a good that's, idea. That's a good name. Yeah. It's better than the apparatus. Yeah. Yeah. The you Swiss, didn't like that. No. The Swiss Army thing, formerly known as knife. <laughs> the Swiss Army thing. Yeah. yeah. So, whatever. So, anyway, when you get a new one that's going to be coming out next year, there's going to be no knife in it. Weird. Yeah. It's 741. WQSB. Mornings with Barry and Holly. Don't Time again for Knowledge Nuggets. Holly's been working hard on this, trying to find some information that you need to know whether you know it or not. What have you got today? The average American's family sends each other 10,000 texts a year. That's a lot of text messages. 10,000 a year? Yes. What do you think the number one topic is? I have no idea. 
dinner plans. <laughs> What's for dinner? What's for dinner? What's for dinner? Yep, that's and the number one topic. That's the family. Which yeah. probably a lot of these happen when you're in the same room next yeah, to each probably. other. Probably. <laughs> probably. Or somebody's upstairs and you won't you don't want to walk downstairs and oh, ask God, them. Yeah. Gotta text them. Lord, yes. Don't want to walk down those stairs who wear you out. <laughs> So, 10000 a year. Yeah, 10000 takes a year. To watch for dinner. Yep. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then pharmacists say, can I drink alcohol with this medication? <laughs> Is the question they get asked most often. No. Yes. So, when they go pick up their medicine, that's the number one thing. Can I drink ask. alcohol Can I drink with this? With this? <laughs> uh-huh. They say that's their number I, one question. I don't, that's not me. I would ask, can I take other medication with this or something like that? Yeah. Can these medicines mix together? Yeah. I mean, that's what I would want to know. I mean, that's what you're supposed to know. Your doctors are supposed yeah. to work together. I mean, most medicines, you're not supposed to drink anything with them. Yeah. Like alcohol. Yeah. Most. Most, I yeah. would think. Probably. But people still want to know. Yeah. The, all those side effects. <laughs> Number one attacks, question. Stroke, diabetes. Yep, diarrhea. Death, diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> Coma. I think every medicine made causes that. <laughs> no. Watching TV the other night, all these medicines they're showing. Oh, there's another one on TV right now. Yeah. If you read the bottom, they oh, have about. Do Jardians. Yeah. They show you 30 <laughs> seconds of things that could do to you. Yeah. Every one of them has diarrhea. That's every one of them. Most of the commercial is not telling you about the drug. No. It's telling you the side effects How it can of hurt the drug. You. Yes. It might can help your problem, but it's for sure going to yeah. cause other problems. They get like one or two lines in of, hey, are you suffering from psoriasis? You yeah. don't have to anymore. This may cause diarrhea. Yeah, you and, and may then, fill your pants. <laughs> your, but it might get rid of psoriasis. We don't know. But for sure you're going to mess all over yourself. We know that for sure. <laughs> so okay. all of them do that. Yeah. Okay, what else? Moving on, moving on. Okay. The most popular non-traditional Christmas gift is a puppy. Ah. Yeah. That, that's cute. A puppy, okay. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a tricky gift. It is. Because you got to take care of that night and day. you got to, especially before you give it to them. Yeah. you got to keep it quiet. Oh, yeah. So that's a surprise. Yes. Yeah. Or somebody has to dog sit. Yeah. And who wants to do that? Nobody. Nobody. No. Mm-mm. So what's number two? Number two is a trip to Disney World. Yeah. Yeah, I You see, see so many TikToks and videos of people opening up their Disney World Ticket or, yeah, or whatever, whatever. wristbands. And then there's the puppy. Yeah. I give, know. If you give somebody a puppy and Disney World tickets. You've given them the wow. best gift in the world. According to this, it is. The, most popular. Yep. It's yeah. the the gift of all gifts. It is. All right, 754. Mornings with Barry and Holly here on Alabama's country giant WQSB. Crazy story this morning. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Totally serious on this one. There's a zoo in China. The zoo has sparked debate after zookeepers were dressing chow chow dogs as pandas. No, <laughs> no way. The dogs had their fur trimmed and they were dyed to look just like panda bears. Oh my God. The fake pandas were on display, started just a few days ago. Visitors, some didn't realize what was going on. Some did and began complaining, said, well, wait a minute, you're trying to tell me that's a panda. I've never heard a panda bark. <laughs> <laughs> or wag his tail? Yeah. Or, like, come on. Or scooch its butt across the, <laughs> the cement. <laughs> One of those scooching, rare scooching pandas in China. <laughs> and it hangs its tongue out and just... <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> We've never had one grab a zookeeper's ankle and go to town. Oh. Ever. Ever seen a panda grab an ankle bone. Oh, no. And make it his. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> What's black and white and red all over? I don't know. <laughs> what? Your ankle. You didn't have to stop laughing. <laughs> what? It's a sunburned panda. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay, one more. What okay. goes black, white, black, white, black, white? I have no idea. A panda rolling down a hill. <laughs> <laughs> Really, an eel. If you uh, want to see a picture of this fake panda, look at her face. So face. cute. I love this, and I'm going to be honest. I think that that 
they could probably get in trouble for doing that. Yeah. And I would be upset to pay money and think that I'm seeing a panda and it's a dog. I would be mad to pay big money to go into a zoo. I'm laughing at the picture. Yeah. The picture is so cute. It is. It's. A, it looks good. They did a good job they, on they, it. They really did. But it's obvious when you look closely, that's not a panda. Ah, it's not a panda. It's a dog. You can tell by his little, his little snout. You know? His little nose and, and mouth. And all the other things we mentioned. <laughs> yeah. And the curled up tail right. on its back. Hey, we need to do something here. Okay. We've got to give away tickets. Oh. June Jam tickets. It's our Mama and Nim June Jam ticket giveaway. Now, Alabama's June Jam's coming up June 1st. And we're giving away tickets to Mama and Nim in honor of Mother's Day coming up this weekend. We're going to give you an Alabama song that mentions mother or mom or mama in the lyrics. So if you're caller number 10 and can name the song, you'll win a pair of June Jam tickets. You have to know the name of the song. It's an Alabama song. So here we go. You ready? Yep. Well, it's Monday morning. He's kissing Mama goodbye. Which Alabama song is that from? You did not sing that. I'm sorry. You want to sing it? No, I don't know. I don't know that. What is that? It don't matter. Well, it's a Monday morning. He's kissing his mama goodbye. You, you added his. He's kissing mama goodbye. There, okay, now that's what's the matter. <laughs> now they know what it is. The caller 10 with the answer will make you a winner. Call 878-8000-1800-233-1051. Barry and Holly on Alabama's Country Giant, WQSB. Country Music News, NBC has ordered a new Rebus show. It's now official. It's going to be called oh. Happy's Place. It's going to become an official series coming up later this season, sometime in the fall. The storyline, Reba's going to play Bobby, who inherits her father's restaurant, and she's less than thrilled to discover she has a new business partner, which is the half-sister she never knew she had. Oh. If it's Reba's show, it's going to be a good show. Yeah, it's going to be good. Jordan Davis, here's some information on Tucson Too Late. He wrote the song with his buddy. Josh and Matt Jenkins. The song didn't end up the way it started. In fact, it was first called Too Lane, Too Late. Hmm. But they decided to change it because they said there was confusion. Are we talking about a town? Are we talking about two roads, as in two lane? So they Googled T towns in the U.S. The first one that popped up was Tucson. They said, perfect, let's go with it. So they wrote Tucson, Too Late, instead of Too Lane, Too Late. What about Tuscaloosa, Too Late? That would have worked. Oh, that would have worked. Yeah, yep. there you go. Well, Chris Stapleton, Thomas Drett, Laney Wilson, Little Big Town, and Sugarland are among the acts scheduled to perform as the Today Show as they celebrate 30 years of being on the air. If you'd like to attend the New York City Plaza concerts, you can register for fan passes on the Today website. The first country artist scheduled is Laney Wilson on June 25th. The others are in August and September. Yeah, that's a big honor. That's big a big honor. Yeah. Love watching those. Speaking of Little Big Town, here they are on WQSB. Fans with Scott Chambers. He says he's figured out the secret sound. Our news guy. And I got to tell you. Yeah. He did. Whoa. It took him, he guessed it about five or six times, but yeah. that sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth time, mm. he guessed it. So Scott, you cannot tell. You cannot call. You signed a contract. You cannot be involved. Since you're the highest paid newsman in this radio station. You cannot take a guess. It's actually the only paid newsman in this radio station, but still. <laughs> you cannot legally call no. and tell friends and family and other people. We will say that you signed an NDA. <laughs> we will forge your signature. <laughs> we will. We're not above that. No, we're not. We've done it before. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, you do what you got to do. Exactly, exactly. But yeah, but the secret sound, we didn't have a winner last hour. It's a brand new sound. Mm -hmm. And like we were telling on the air, it's something that you probably people have done probably at least once a day, if not five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times a day. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. This one may not last long. It, I don't it think may, it's going to. Yeah. Now, Mike will play, in case you missed it, it's up to $125. Mike will play at 1015 and 115 So get ready. You'll have a chance to guess with Mike a couple of times, and then Rod will play coming up later on this afternoon. Morning's crime story. I'm just shocked that Scott Chambers didn't have this story. But I guess it, it didn't happen in Alabama. It's the only reason. Okay. Yeah, if it was in Kentucky, if he was in Kentucky, he'd been all over this one. A high school in Kentucky, they were evacuated recently after someone sprayed poot spray no. all over the school. 
No. Yeah. The police department wrote in a press release they were called to the school after a strong odor, a strong gas odor. <laughs> of course it's gas odor. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's Toot spraying. Oh, my God. We can't say the other word. Nope. Police say the scent prompted officials to evacuate students and faculty members from the building. I've been around some of that spray. It is awful. I've never smelled it before. <sighs> it's worse than... The real thing? The real thing. Yeah. It's like times 10. So... Who thought of that? Who was like, you know what? I'm going to can this up and sell well, it. Probably that some millionaire somewhere did. <laughs> yeah. They're rich now. <laughs> well, poor kids. So that so that it was like a... Uh, some kid sprayed it. I don't know who did it. Okay. But they know that some kid had to do it. And I guess he got what he wanted. They had to evacuate school and they had to send him home. Yeah. So I guess don't do this. It's do not do this at your school. Do not. Oh, my gosh, no. Because if, if they catch you and they still know that you're the one that did it. Straight to jail. You're going, you're, you, you really. Because yeah. it's almost like a terrorist type thing because you're spraying yeah. an yeah. odor, yeah. something that, <laughs> <laughs> first of all, but no one claimed it. Sometimes the smeller's the feller, but not this time. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you can say that on radio, what? but you just did. What the smeller? The, <laughs> the, smeller. <laughs> the smeller's a feller. You smelt it, you dealt it. <laughs> exactly. Silent but deadly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Crack a window. Yeah. Oh Lord. A lot of match. There's yeah. Tons of them. Yeah. So anyway, everybody was okay. By the way, it was just they just opened some windows and mm-hmm. turned on the air and it went away. Yeah. All right. Trivia time. It's your chance to win a free pizza buffet to eat the location of Barone's Pizza and Arcade. There's one on George Wallace Drive in Gadsden, one on Galt Avenue North in Fort Payne. Family-friendly, build-your-own endless pizza buffet. New question. In a recent survey, it was found that a single person tends to do this twice as much compared to someone who is in a relationship. Why are you laughing? I just thought of what come to my mind of what a single person does twice as much as somebody who's in a relationship. And it's, it's not that. Not clean, is it? <laughs> no, Very. No. Oh, my gosh. Oh, tell me that didn't just hit your... I thought I, maybe. Maybe it crossed <laughs> my gutter mind. But that was your third I have three guess. brothers. Yeah, come see? on. But it's come not on. that. Well, what is it? It's a, it's a family-friendly answer. So if you think you know, be the first caller through the right answer. 878-8000-1800-233-1051. WQSB. Mornings with Barry and Holly. Uh, you can see the video, great video. It wouldn't be if you're the homeowner, I guess. Okay, what would if you have a pool and a bear gets in the pool? Uh huh. Do you have to clean the entire? I guess depending on what it does in the pool, for oh. sanitary purposes. I didn't or think about that. How do you handle that? I would probably just throw an extra bag of shock in there. <laughs> Extra bag of shock. Yeah, extra bag of shock. Well, a mama bear and her cubs, they visited a California home, and it's it's pretty cute. It really is. There's nobody home, so nobody was hurt. It shows the bear with the two babies following her. The mama bear walks over to the pool, walks down the steps, gets into the pool like it lives there. Yeah. The two babies sit on the side and watch mama swim. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so cute. Yep, that is cute. They're, like, just waiting on mama to get done. So what would you have done if you'd owned the home and you looked outside oh look there's a bear in my pool oh with two who babies do you, who do you call or do you just let them be who what would do you, you do? call i don't know oh, you don't you wouldn't call the police you don't call the police you call animal control D- bear control i don't know i'm there i don't think we have a bear control it's here. never going to work around here no I mean, we're not going to have to worry about that problem, I don't, I don't think. don't think we need a bear control. You might have a possum in the pool. No, yeah. Or an armadillo. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Uh, around here. Could have a coyote. A coyote. There's some of those around here. Well, you saw a bobcat the saw other a bobcat. day. bobcat, yeah. 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 So, I don't know. But, I don't know. I've seen some people. Harry is a bear. That's why I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. But that would be weird, though, because I wonder if you'd have to do something to clean the pool. Yeah, I don't know. I guess they caught it on their um, back door they camera. They did. Yeah, yeah. Their, their security cam. Yeah. I, I love those things. Like I love all the things we get to see that go on that we don't we would have missed. Yes. Like, they would have missed that. At, they, they were at would've. work. They would have never known that a bear had mm-hmm. been in their pool. No. They would have thought one of the kids dropped a load in there. <laughs> Because they probably use the bathroom and the pool. You think so? Probably. No. Anytime. She just went for a little dip. Well, 
Just a little swim. And that warm water hits you. Yeah. Now you got bear pee in the pool. Well. Or uh, other stuff. Ooh. It does say that they, when they left the pool, the, the camera catches them scratching themselves on a tree before heading out. Oh, my gosh. How cute. So mama got out of the pool, took a little back scratch on the tree. The babies did it, too. Then off they walked off into the woods. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That is so cute. She's it really is. Them. She showed them. Teaching That's them how to mama. break in and take a take a swim. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good mom. It's 842. Mornings with Barry and Holly here on Alabama's country giant, WQSB. Now for the quote of the day before we go. What you got? Yep, this is from Kermit the Frog. He says, just because you haven't found your talent yet doesn't mean you don't have one. We were talking to Mark Bricky earlier. Mark even mentioned that. Yeah, he did. Saying his wife told him he has no talent. And he's, <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> he's still looking to find it. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter how old you are. Um, you, sometimes you don't know. it takes you a while to find your talent. Well, like you, because you have a lot of talents, but you found a talent and something doing that you like. Yeah. This. And I love. Yeah, I love this. So sometimes it may take you a while to find exactly what you're best at and what you're good at and what you like. Yeah, I agree with that. So just keep on trying. Mm -hmm. That's why our seniors, you need to keep on trying because you're about to get started on a brand new endeavor and you need to come out of the station and get your free senior t-shirt. That's right. Don't be shy. Come get them while yep. we got them. We still have uh, about 40 of them left. So if you're a high school senior, come out of the station and pick up your free uh, Step Into the Future t-shirt. And don't forget to upload your photo on our website at the, uh, at the uh, Step Into the Future little link you'll find there. Include your name and your school. And coming up next Wednesday, we'll be announcing our two winners. One say, Actually, one young man and one young lady win five hundred dollars each. That's right. And we also want to congratulate our listener of the day, Jacqueline Williams. Yep. Thank you to Poodles and Powell LLC and Sam and Breaks for being this week's podcast sponsor. I am going to give you an Easter egg for when I post the podcast recap. And this is for June Jam tickets. Mm -hmm. And the question is, where are you listening from? Okay. And that's all you have to do is just tell me where. You don't have to say anything else. When I put up the link to the new podcast today, mm -hmm. you just comment where you're listening from. Now, the link will be found on our Facebook page, on our website. You can and on go Spotify. Spotify. So when you find that, just listen to it. And even maybe listen, comment on something you found that yeah, you liked, that absolutely. you enjoyed. Absolutely. Then everybody who comments, that little special Easter egg yeah. will be qualified to win a pair of June Jam tickets. That's right. We'll get those away coming up Friday morning. That's right. All right. Many ways to win. It's 850. Poodles and Pals Grooming offers personalized attention for the pet you love. Almost any size or breed, they give low stress atmosphere and custom grooming to fit your dog's needs. With the most affordable rates around, your pet will leave looking and feeling better than ever. Flea and tick shampoo, coloring, you name it. A safe and clean space that is more than just another treat for your dog. To book appointments, please call 256-298-2021 or check out Facebook at Poodles and Pals LLC. Open in Gunnersville Monday through Thursday, Poodles and Pals, your go-to dog groomer. All real and all deals, Sandman Brakes. For all your sports cards and trading, you must check out Sandman Brakes. Exclusive team openings, professional teams covering football, baseball, basketball. Exclusive content. In the sports car world, we are top-notch and top-rated. Check us out on our TikTok username, Sandman Brakes.